Literature is full of references to old men lost in dreams of days gone by. Well, tonight we leave you with an appreciative glimpse of some octogenarians who are actively pursuing their dreams on the ice. They love hockey, and rather than reminisce about old times, they'd rather lace up their skates, get out there, and mix it up. CTV's Roger Smith plays a little hockey at the, apologies, Roger, semi-geezer level. And when he heard about these guys, he went down to the rink to pick up some pointers. Even by beer league standards, this game seems pretty slow, but there is good reason. These players are more than 80 years old, all of them just happy they're still able to do what they love. If I'm playing hockey the following morning, I dream about it. I, I'm excited. I, if anybody had told me when I was 20 that I'd still be doing it when I'm 80, I'd have told them they were crazy. But uh, I'm only doing it until I get it right and then I'm going to quit. As players refuse to hang up their skates, old-timers hockey is expanding to accommodate them. These octogenarians were drawn from their usual 70-plus teams in Ottawa and Montreal. We have guys who are over 80 playing three times a week. So they're getting out of the house because ladies like their husband out of the house sometimes, okay? Amid the gray, there are still flashes of past glory, but dangers too. In the stands, not-so-young kids worry about their fathers. To fall, crash into the boards at that age could be a little dangerous. But her dad has an answer. There's no this. If, I ever, if everything ever happens to me on the ice and I die, I'm doing something I like. Playing hockey. <laughs> Of course, age does present new challenges like getting up after a fall, lugging the hockey bag to the rink. You better get up from the basement. It's getting heavy. It gets heavier every year. And bending over to tie up the skates. The feet, for some reason, are farther away than they used to be. But it's not just the hockey that matters. It's the camaraderie, the dressing room banter. Our guys had been wives, girlfriends, mistresses, yeah. you know, whatever's around. <laughs> and the usual post-game recovery. Well, we replace our body fluids. That's what we do. A ritual that's just as important as the game they refuse to give up. Roger Smith, CTV News, Ottawa. Now, how great are they? That's our newscast for this Sunday. Thank you for sharing your weekend with us. I'm Sandy Rinaldo. Lisa Laflamme is here tomorrow. Have a good night and a good week ahead, and I will see you Monday noon Eastern on CTV News Channel. Good night.